Hello and welcome to this video on the Mercedes Airmatic Adaptive Suspension System. During this video I will provide a brief technology overview of both the Mercedes Airmatic Suspension and the Adaptive Damping System ADS. I will also be showing a hands-on demo of the Airmatic Suspension in action and the effect this has on the ride height of the car, as well as the corresponding display messages shown on the multifunction systems and wrap up with my final thoughts. Compared with a conventional steel suspension, the Airmatic Air Suspension provides advantages in terms of ride comfort and handling safety. From a sporty to a comfortable setting, the Airmatic Air Suspension with ADS-2 Adaptive Damping System operates fully automatically. The electronics with four different damping levels, which automatically adjust the damping force on each wheel according to the current requirements based on the driving style and the state of the road. The integrated all-round level control system ensures a virtually constant level of ground clearance for added stability, even when the vehicle is carrying a full load. At speeds above approximately 70 miles per hour, the vehicle is automatically lowered by approximately 10 millimeters to reduce drag. At 90 miles per hour, it is lowered by a further 10 millimeters. The Airmatic Sport Suspension can be activated by pressing the Sport button on the console. This will bring up a notification on the dashboard stating that the Airmatic Sport is activated. The vehicle then changes from whichever mode it is in, even whilst in motion, and lowers itself to its lowest position. This process takes approximately 30 seconds when moving from Comfort to Sport Suspension and has been time-lapsed for the purposes of this video. The vehicle ride height can also be increased to its maximum by pressing the ride height button on the console. This will bring up a notification in the dashboard stating that the vehicle is rising. The vehicle then changes from whichever mode it is in, even whilst in motion, and raises itself to its highest position, which is about 50 millimeters in total higher than in sport suspension mode. The process takes about 1 minute 30 seconds when moving from sport suspension and has been time-lapsed for the purposes of this video. Notice however the substantial difference this makes to the car. Driving in this mode is not something however I would recommend unless the terrain is particularly poor. Note that while this video is specific to the CLS400 AMG, the Airmatic system operates in similar fashion across the Mercedes range. It's important to note that the suspension settings in collaboration with settings for the transmission are independent. That is, you could be driving the car in sport suspension, but in an eco-transmission mode. Overall, I found that the Airmatic suspension system to be very effective at smoothing the road, improving drive quality and reducing road noise. Compared to my previous Mercedes E350 CDI on the same roads, this car is silky smooth, with the Airmatic suspension in comfort mode. I hope you have enjoyed this video, and if you have done, please leave a comment down below and remember to click the like button. Note I will also be making a video on the interior features as well as the advanced driver aids such as the rear view camera, parktronic, distronic and self-parking capabilities. Thanks for watching.